for instance this one I will show you basically that's what you get once you uploaded your game you have to provide a, des uh, a name, a description, instruction etc the instructions appear here if you use a uh, left arrow, right arrow it's, uh, it's displayed as a, a, a key uh, here if it's in between brackets etc so I think for the export that's all I have to say tell me if uh, there's something uh, uh, could not see what to type uh, I hope you, this was you, you got it I will uh, copy it and uh, that's what to type to uh, to get the the cache uh, okay so I think the export it was a bit uh, of a struggling with all this iframe thing but uh, I think that's often a question that appears for uh, for uh, using the the export uh, in your website, so I think that's a good thing to uh, to cover. So now I will uh, cover third-party plugins. Third-party plugins is a is a, a good way to to have extra functionality. Hello, Anata. Sorry, it. Uh, <laughs> It's almost uh, three quarter of the of the lesson. So uh, yeah, so plugins, plugins. You can find them. There's no. Um, I think there's no um, official repository for plugins. So to find them, it's in the forum, the plugin section, and in the topic by Keatrix with all the list of all plugin that was. Um, um, released in the forum. I've seen some other plugins uh, in other way, in other situation w that wasn't uh, released in the forum, so they are not in the list. But that's already a <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a big list. A uh, few things to know about third-party plugins. Uh, Kiat did, uh, did uh, only put the plugin that he sees in the in the topics about plugins, and he never removed them, which means they are plugins that sometimes are uh, outdated. One good example of such plugin is, I think the function plugin from Rex Rainbow which uh, gave you the ability to use function way before the function the official Skira function plugin was made you it was a, it was a, a decent uh, plugin uh, with a f with a few bugs but now you better use the Skira plugin which works pretty well uh, so this function is outdated basically this one as well because I think with the browser plugin you can access query string which are uh, things uh, which looks like this in the in the in the URL etc uh, etc et so uh, since uh, cat doesn't order the list the new ones are often in the bottom that's a plugin I made recently, and there are already other ones. Second thing you have to know is that plugin and behaviors aren't the same. They are they aren't installed in the same uh, place. This is my uh, construct to uh, folder. Construct to folder. In the plugin are installed here. Plugin and behavior. Uh, color code is just uh, the one I clicked. The, it's uh, visited the uh, link or not. Uh, move to, I didn't visit the links. If I visit the link, I reload the page. Move to should be. I don't know. Zigzag maybe? Okay, zigzag. If I click on zigzag on timer, it will uh, change the color. Okay. 
so you see here all the the one in green are the one I I went to the one in red in uh, orange are the one I, I didn't check yet okay uh, as I said uh, yeah okay the, that's it he, he can't just add to the list each time there's a new plugin so the most recent are here which doesn't mean the one who has updated the last uh, it's the most recently created okay so the plugins usually you download uh, zip uh, which one will I download uh, let's see the one in the button let's see I want to download oh, I already have it <laughs> uh, okay Rex layer I download the plugin I have a, a zip file which was deep uh, with a 7d zip I extract the folder here the folder here and I just have to copy paste the plugin inside the plugin folder beam I said beam uh, my computer is slow beam so here Rex layer that's the plugin in a nutshell that's the file for the plugin and now if I launch my construct uh, application so here I will launch my uh, official uh, uh, non-steam version because uh, it's easier to show you in the folder here I will be able to have the Rex plugin somewhere Rex should layer okay that's the plugin from Rex which is in general here okay so that's how you install a plugin since a few release there's a new way to install a plugin I will show it to you in the free version this time you have your free version open and let's say you downloaded such a file that's my plugin polygon and the C2 add-in yeah, yeah I test a lot of plugins I create some and some uh, are, plugin, are unfinished things so here let's say you have a C2 add-in file you just have to take it drop it in the C2 windows you have a small description of what this uh, plugin is and you just have to click install it says you have to restart construct 2 so here I close it uh, don't say I think I installed my plugin here in the free version this time install okay I will just save just in case close and when I restart yeah I know I know when ah oh, shut up when I restart construct I will be able to see my plugin in the plugin list beam polygon plugin if it looks like it uh, it fits with other plugin in terms of uh, look of the icon it was on purpose I did it on purpose um, okay so and um, now if you have the steam version of C2 one quick way to access the same folder here is to do a right click property local file and browse local files you reach your construct folder which is on steam this time I showed you the one on uh, with the skira download the uh, basic skira download this one is on steam if you have 64 
byte uh, if you have a 64 byte uh, operating system you probably should only worry about this one and the folder structure uh, from there is exactly the same exporter exporter here HTML5 HTML5 and plugins and behavior in the steam version you can see plugin I installed the polygon plugin with the CC uh, the C add-on and one thing you have to keep in mind that uh, myself I do I do the, I make the mistake always always I always make the same mistake behavior have to be installed in the behavior folder not the plugin folder that's important uh, if you install it in the plugin folder you will see a very scary message when you start uh, um, construct uh, let's see drag scale don't know what it does but Rex Rainbow is a trust uh, trusty uh, fella so I can download the behavior here same as uh, as before I don't think he made uh, a C2 add-on, so yeah, have to install it manually. Up, I extract it, and then let's say it's a behavior, but let's say I put it in the plugin folder, because I'm uh, I'm like that. I like to be uh, crazy like that. Oh, yeah, I will check that. The problem with Rex is he's making uh, tons of interdependent plugins. Okay, that's the kind of message you will get. Unable to load plugin, you see the name of the plugin, and it says get plugin settings is not uh, because it's get behavior setting. So that's a sign there's something wrong with your installation, and in this case, it means wrong folder so I cut and passed in the behavior folder here I close construct no I don't want to buy I already have it okay take launch app okay it takes time for steam to understand I closed construct and then no error message and uh, if I create a sprite here and I want to give him a behavior I should be able able to have the drag scale so that's uh, plugins and behavior in a nutshell uh, any question about that Something uh, you have to be careful is if a plugin is not well made, it might work on preview but not work on export. So you have to be careful and check the export version before com committing any work with a plugin. <coughs> the reasons uh, a plugin can fail on export is because the plugin is kind of uh, treated all the JavaScript exported is treated uh, by an operation called minification every function, every name, every variable in uh, JavaScript is um, is uh, renamed with something hard to read to make the game hard to uh, kind of uh, reverse engineered and just to show you how it looks just so you have uh, an idea of uh, what I'm talking about if I open this here it's a big file and it looks like this so every n variable names, every function, almost every, you can recognize some, but almost every function are renamed in a mysterious way with uh, single letter names. 